Hello everyone, welcome to another Sims 2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite pieces and creators of custom content for Creator Sim in The Sims 2 that help to make what are in my opinion the best looking Sims in the entire franchise. Now this video is kind of a part 2 from my previous video where I covered all the mods I used to overhaul Creator Sim. So if you haven't already, check that out. And with that out of the way, let's get looking at some CC. So the first thing I want to discuss is skin. And I think I might actually have quite an unpopular opinion when it comes to skin, because if you're looking at this and thinking you can't really tell much of a difference between this and the Maxi skin, you wouldn't exactly be wrong, because this basically is the Maxis skin. What makes it different to the Maxis skin is on the males because as you can see it comes with body hair and this body hair is actually correlated to hair colour so if I now make him blonde you can see that his body hair is now much fairer, much lighter and I really love this. Body hair is quite important to me. I think it really makes Sims look more realistic. And with most custom skins, they wouldn't come with body hair and you'd have to use a body hair controller to apply body hair in game, which is just quite a faff if you ask me and it was something I wanted to avoid. Also a problem with other custom skins is that they don't come with wrinkles for elders which is um, also something that I would find quite annoying and unrealistic um, so basically with a lot of custom skins if you want your elders to have wrinkles you would have to basically apply a makeup to them to look like wrinkles and I don't want to give my elders a makeup attraction trait necessarily so that's why I do it like this. So you can find these correlated body hair skins I use here. They're on Mod The Sims by Faye Now. And on these pictures you can really tell the differences between each uh, shade, each uh, hair colour. So yeah, that's how I like my skins to be. If I were to use a different skin, I would probably go for this Marigold Skin Blend by Lilith. And I've noticed a lot of people seem to prefer Lilith's Honey Honey Skin Blend, but I prefer the look of this one. I think the colours are warmer. I just prefer the look of this one. It's really cool that it covers the Supernaturals as well. Well, but as I said, I just didn't really want to be messing around with applying body hair in game and putting makeup on all my elder males. So that's why I avoid um, other skins and a lot of skins are really shiny or really dull and monotone. So for me, I haven't found any custom skins that make sacrificing the body hair and wrinkles worth it. So this is my choice. So the next thing I want to show you is my default eye replacement. Eyes are something that's really important to change in The Sims 2 because the default eyes are really dated, really flat and unrealistic. So I just think these eyes make The Sims look so beautiful. I absolutely love them. These are the Unforgettable Eye Set by Dragon Mandate made into default replacements by Heaven on Mod The Sims. Dragon Mandate is a creator on Mod The Sims that has lots of really nice eye sets, but the Unforgettable set was always my favourite, so when I came across the default replacement, I just fell in love and that was it for me. I no longer use additional eye colours anymore, just these default replacements. Um, if I were to get extras, I'd stick with Dragon Mandate or Bruno, both on Mod The Sims. But I just found that I don't need them. I'd rather stick with the geneticised set. Um, they're just all I need. They're so beautiful. If you'd prefer to go for a less realistic look, um, then I'd recommend these Curious Bee Magic Theatre eyes. But to me, these are just the absolute winners. I love them. So next I'd like to show you some hair and unfortunately I can't really show you many in game because I'm actually on my laptop right now which isn't where I usually play The Sims 2. I just put a selection on to for the purpose of this video to show some of my favourites. Um, so I'll just show you a couple here. It seems like these first few 
or by a creator called Oak Sapling, which are really nice. Um, I don't go down the default replacement route for hair because I haven't really found a set of default replacements that are right for me. Um, a lot of people just tend to stick with one hair system or uh, hair texture type. Um, and I like to mix it up a little bit more than that. So I've just got additionals um, and I just um, use that uh, gussy up mod I showed to uh, give townies and premies some nicer hairstyles. Um, and a lot of them work really well with genetics anyway, so there's um, there's not really uh, many drawbacks of having additional hairs instead of default replacements. Uh, just that it makes your game take a little, or quite a lot longer to load. So I'll show you some of my favourite tumblers. I've picked four creators out and that was quite hard for me to do because I have no self-control and have lots and lots of hairs by different creators on my main PC where I usually play and you can find the whole list of the hair creators I use on my mod list which will be in the description below. But I've picked these four out as what I would probably say are my favourites. So the first is called Entropy on Tumblr. Um, I really like her hairs and what I do is I just, I just find creators with a hair palette that I like and a lot of them have their each colour in a separate file so you can delete some of the ones you don't like. For example, I don't like this Sorath or this grenade colour so I would just um, not put them into my do uh, downloads folder but most of the rest are really, really nice. Um, another one is Fake Blood also on Tumblr and unfortunately I couldn't find an example of one of their hair palettes but um, most of the colours are really really nice, their hair textures are really high quality, um, they're, yeah they're really beautiful things. Um, next is Oak Sapling which is what most of the initial ones I clicked through were by. Um, this is um, a slightly more Maxis match type of texture, you know a little more matte. Um, and this is their hair texture, a really good range of dark to light brown, uh, which is something that is really important to me when, I, when I'm looking for hairs. I find that a lot of creators just don't get the browns right for me as a dark brunette myself. Um, I really don't like it when the only brown option is very light or very red tone. So um, yeah, the, having a good spectrum of brown hairs is uh, really important for me to be able to represent myself in game. And lastly, we've got Vidkun's also on Tumblr, really high quality stuff again. Um, and this is their 2020 palette, which is said is discontinued, so I'm guessing the newer ones coming out this year will be a slightly different system, but still really high quality, beautiful things. So yeah, that's all for her for this video. Next, I want to show you some eyebrows, and to be honest, I don't really have a go-to set for eyebrows. Um, I just use a variety and kind of look are there for males and those ones I just kind of look until I find again more for males and the right the ones that suit my sim the best and again because I have no self-control this isn't a whole lot I use in game you can see all the brows I usually use in my main game on my mod list here but the favourites I've picked out are these two by Anva. These are quite high quality um, and have some for male. These by Bruno are very nice. Bruno is very well known for doing gorgeous makeup, which I'll get on to next. Um, I like this natural eyebrow set by Kay Muller, but I think it's ironic they're just called natural eyebrow set because I tend to use these when I'm going for a more heavily makeup look. I think these look like penciled brows but they can really come in handy sometimes and this creator called Shade A as well on Bob the Sims has some option for for masculine eyebrows which are harder to come across and um, some quite soft natural looking options for females as well. Next let's talk makeup and my overall go-to for this is Bruno well for eyeshadow and lips anyway 
um, he's a creator on Mod The Sims and I really love his eyeshadows and lipsticks. I think they're just unbeatable. I haven't really found a need for any others in my game. I can just use all of his. Um, and I find the lips really, really nice as well. There's some lighter, more subtle lip gloss types and then more heavy uh, lipstick options but overall they're just really high quality really beautiful for blush my go-to is Lilith which is the author of that uh, other skin I mentioned um, there's some nice nose masks here well they'll, they'll be a better match with um, Lilith's skin but I think some of the shades do go quite well with the uh, Max's skin tones and she does some really cute blush as well from there's this one that says strip across um, the nose and cheeks and then these ones are just cheeks but I think they're really cute and lastly for eyeliner I use this as purely eyelashes um, these ones are like quite heavy makeup, quite useful for like a uh, punky look some of them or just a really like a heavy mascara and um, these by Bruno have eyeliner as well and subtle, subtle short lashes and then these by Amber as well which come in brown and black and are different lengths and also suitable for all, all races because as you can see the line under the eye um, changes on some of them but sometimes I find some of the ones that are made for the darker skin tones on the lighter ones can give an eyeliner effect which is really pretty and these are more by Bruno and these are Anvers or the set I'd probably say um, Anvers sets are my favourite. So I think with some nice makeup this really updates the look of the sim compared to the Maxis makeup. It's so much higher quality and you can create some really stunning looking sims in my opinion by far the prettiest sims in the entire sims franchise. So here are all the pages for my makeup, this is Bruno's, which I mentioned does the eyeshadow and lips that I like. He has quite a lot of sets, um, so look through those. He also has some custom eyes if you're interested in that. Um, Anva is the one that does nice liners and eyelash effects. And this set by Spiffy Wigs was the heavier look for blush these two by Lilith it's the golden wings blush the whispers blush and the Adele nose masks and you can find the, all these individual links will be in the description as well as the links to my my mods page and all my makeup is listed there as well the last thing I'd like to show you while we're on this step four is accessories and basically when I say accessories I mean glasses. I tend to not use many custom accessories, some that you might see are just kind of accidentally there from my clothes folder, um, but I tend to avoid custom jewellery because they're often not categorised in the, in the Bon Voyage way and it, it's not something I really use much but glasses are something that really needs help in the game and um, the Sims 2 glasses are awful so grabbing some custom glasses is something I would really recommend and I found that all the ones I like are various conversions by a creator called Tamo who made glasses for The Sims 3. Um, so all of the glasses you can see in my game are conversions of these Sims 3 glasses by Tamo. Now there's four lots of these by different creators. Uh, this one's actually by Tamo for The Sims 2 called Buddy Holly-ish glasses. But then various other creators have converted Tamo's creations for The Sims 3 and um, these are the smaller ones, these are the cat eye ones, 
and these are these really nice ones so lastly let's talk clothes and now again with the same issue with hair um, there's not too much that I can really show you in game because not that many will be loaded into my memory so there's only so far I can really click through and realistically show here um, a lot of these are conversions from The Sims 4 um, which are really nice um, like this top from this is definitely Eco Lifestyle this is from Sims 4 I can't remember which pack um, they're really nice especially f to give um, some tops for females I find a lot of my other custom content for females are full outfits so um, I found using 42 conversions gave a bit more variety um, for some top and bottom choices the main thing I like 42 conversions for are actually uh, close for males because otherwise it is a nightmare to find Wait, nice clothes for males to wear um, so a lot of these are conversions from the sims 4 and they give so many more options I feel like I'd really be stuck without um, 42 conversions for males they really don't have much to wear otherwise these are nice pants from Valerian it's important to have some nicer jeans, some nice shorts. So a lot of these bottoms I have for females are also 42 conversions. Um, I've got a lot, lot of nice jeans, which are quite essential and versatile. But I find a lot of um, the custom content I use are full body outfits for females. Um, so I wish some of them were categorised a bit differently, like these dresses are gorgeous but I really wish they were only under formal wear. These outfits are really cute. I believe this is another 42 conversion. Um, I actually tend to avoid full body outfits for females. Um, that are 42 conversions because I find a lot of them have very poorly matched shoes like I don't like light florally dresses with just plain black shoes a lot of the time so most of the 42 stuff are top and bottom and this is a really nice pyjama piece unfortunately categorised into it every day I might go and change that uh, eventually but it, it doesn't really matter too much nice business outfits from sims 4 um this cute university dress so once again you can find all of the creators i use for clothes on my mod list um, there's a lot more than what i'm showing in this video today firstly you can find all the 42 conversions on this database it's uh, on a google doc and you can sort by the different expansion packs and then each page shows you everything that's been converted to the sims 2 and where you can get those from which is really helpful one of the creators that often works on these 42 sets especially for age conversions and morphs is dd sims on tumblr um, but she also makes some other clothes of a similar style uh, quite maxi match and um, another one is valerian some of their stuff are 42 conversions but some of it is just other clothes in a similar style and um, they do some nice things for men as well i love this outfit and now let's get a little bit more old school and that is liana is for me still a must have these creations are really old but for me that just fits in with the sims 2 really well and a lot of the styles are still nice today and liana is quite a popular mesh maker you'll find that a lot of the creators i use from the sims resource use liana's meshes same with anna maria sims this is quite a similar style and sometimes uses liana's meshes as well some of them might be a little bit too dated but you can find some really cute things on this too especially little um day dresses and things like that for 
for women. And you'll find that some of these creators have donation packages, you know, you'd be able to get by paying them. But since most of them aren't even active anymore, there's this website called paysitesmustbedestroyed.org. And basically this just is a database of loads of donations collections that you can download for free. So they have an image that you can see and then if you want them, the, you can download them from here completely free, which I think is completely fine to do now because these creators aren't active at all anymore. And I actually think it's against the terms of use of The Sims games to have creations by a paywall for so long, something like that. Another creator I like is called Edra on this Luxwood website. They've got some conversions from custom content made for The Sims 4 to The Sims 2. They're really nice. These are usually a little bit more alpha style, but personally I like both. Um, I don't, especially for The Sims 2, I don't feel the need to pick a side. I think they blend in the game quite well together. But for Sims 4, I generally do prefer the alpha style. And then there's quite a few creators that I like on The Sims resource. This is Aliza. Alyssa1313. Bebe32, who is still active for The Sims 4. Grekeda. Sorry if I'm butchering these names. Grib Gribkos Veta, again, sorry if I'm butchering these names. Harmonia, another one still active and creating for The Sims 4. And these are some really nice, high quality, cute things. Milano Cat. Silhouetta. Really nice stuff. I love these dresses. They're really nice. Um, but when you're looking on The Sims resource, make sure you keep an eye out for any um, mesh, external mesh requirements. As I said, a lot of them use... Um, Liana's meshes but sometimes it's just a different one and you have to go find out which ones you need to download otherwise they won't show up properly in game. Sims 2 fan BG I believe is still active and creating for The Sims 4. Ulka is um, another creator of meshes that are used by other creators. Well Sims and finally Zodapot, which I really like. There's some really nice things, like how cute that dress is, for example. Um, so yeah, just take a browse. Um, your best bet is to use my mod list for the links and just you've just got to find your own style. So that was everything I wanted to show you today. You can find all the links to all the custom content I mentioned in this video in the description below. You can also find more custom content that I use uh, but didn't get to mention in this video on my full mod list. The link to that will also be in the description. So thank you for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me about some of your favorite custom content and what you like best. And subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for more content, especially on the sims 2 you can find me on twitter at bella dover i'm really close to a thousand subscribers on there and when i hit that awesome milestone i'm hoping to do a giveaway where you could be in with the chance of winning a stuff pack for the sims 4 or any pack for the sims 3 so give me a follow on there and keep an eye out for that i'm also bella dover on twitch where i'm hoping to be doing my first ever live stream soon which will most likely be the start of a series on strange town so you can find me on there as well thanks guys bye